Hey guys, Stealth here. Back with more this war of mine. I'm currently at day 8. I got a really good haul last night, so let's see what I brought in. Got a couple of components, some water, uh, some herbs, some more parts, sugar cubes, weapons parts, the works. A lot of food this time, and that's important because my food was running a bit low. So, let's see how my guys are doing. I got Bruno, who is very hungry, he's slightly wounded, and he's sad. Okay, so I need to do something about that. I'm gonna have him cook a good meal. This guy is also very hungry, hungry, and very hungry, so I'm gonna have to do quite a bit about that. Otherwise, my guys are not in good shape. Now, let's see, I'm not really sure what that is. That might be vegetables. Uh, this sign, yeah, vegetables. I can eat them raw, but I'm going to have to have my cook make a meal out of that. Yeah, sure, take the shortcut. He's going to make a meal out of it, and when he does, I can have a bit more food for a better price of sorts. I just need one more fuel. Um, let's see, I got wood. Yeah, let's turn one piece of wood into fuel. This guy is very hungry. He's my priority. He's my scavenger. I want him operational at all times. So he gets to get priority over other people, as far as food is concerned. So make a good meal. I got quite a bit of water going on here. I got two uh, rainwater collectors, so I'm not too worried about my water. But I am worried about my food, so what I need to do is upgrade my stove. Let's see what I need for that. Okay, this guy is still hungry. I'm gonna give him one bit of canned food. This guy is also very hungry. Take a bit of your own food you just prepared. Not very tasty, but it's filling. Okay, this guy is good to go. He's tired, go to bed. This one is still hungry. Another hungry guy and very hungry. Now let's see if we can cook something else. Um, yeah, I can. I just need a bit more fuel and more vegetables. I cannot get more vegetables right now, but fuel is possible. Oh, hello. You brought something for barter. You, you're just sitting around anyway. Have a good, have a look at what's going on there. Okay, you're done. Make a meal. This guy was very hungry and he was slightly sick. I'm gonna give this guy some of those herbs. After someone in the comments, I think it was Christian, said that that would be a good idea. So, um, this guy's also slightly wounded. I'm, hmm. Yeah, I am going to patch him up because I don't want this guy to get infected. You, get to the door. Hopefully this will cure that wound completely. Slightly wounded, bandaged. Hmm. He is still hungry, though. Okay. So this guy is still very hungry. Go get a meal. Um, this guy is still wounded. He's a bit sad. Maybe the radio will cheer him up. Alcohol will surely do the trick, but that's not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, here, have a look at that. While I start to trade with this guy. I don't have that much for trading available right now. I got one bit of moonshine. No, you're not getting my knife. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of components, I think. Components and wood, although wood I can get. Components are a bit less easy to attain. Fuel is easy to make. I'm doing... I'm not doing too bad on food, I suppose. So let's get a lot of components for this. Very generous. We can have a deal. Won't do. Okay, I can get 11 parts out of him for one moonshine. That's fine. And I can trade the other moonshine as well. Let's trade again. Got another moonshine for you. And I want a bit more of those materials. Yeah, 11 is the max apparently. Deal. Good. Now you're gonna see what we need to upgrade that stove. Um, this guy is still hungry. Get a bit of that food there. going to need a bit more wood, but otherwise we're okay. Okay, interesting. Maybe I can trade that right away. This guy 
Uh, it's sad. I think we built a radio somewhere. That was this playthrough, right? Let's see. Anyway, um, I can trade one crowbar and then get three pieces of wood. Four components, maybe? Okay, I need one less then. There you go, deal. Good. Now, uh, you can upgrade the stove. There you go. This guy is hungry and sad. Where's my radio? Maybe the game didn't really save that progress, unfortunately. Let's see how we're doing on water. Three pieces of water. Not too bad. Marco's ready. I have to make some filters and get those things operational. Um, let's see. You are slightly sick, you can go to bed then. Hopefully that'll cure you. This guy is slightly wounded, you're also going to bed. Okay, let's make two water filters. I should sleep off the last night. Okay, you're tired, right. Um, that means that you are going to have to wait for a minute while you get to bed. You, check on the still. Maybe we can make some more stuff. You go upstairs, and upstairs we're going to turn our rainwater into drinkable water using those filters I just created. Let's see. Uh, I need one fuel. I can turn one bit of wood into fuel, but the next scavenging mission is going to have to be fuel. Or wood, actually. This guy, tired. Get to bed. You, turn that still into action. There you go. And you are going to activate this one. Make it. And that should give me another 8 water, which is very handy to make either moonshine or to make sure that I have enough water to cook. Okay, my skilled scavenger is going out again. We already went to the supermarket, pillaged quite a bit there, although not as much as I could get. Um, sniper Junction. Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out there under the nickname Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things, but it's very risky. Right, I'm not going there again. I am going to the shelled school. Huh, <sighs> okay. Um, I think I need a crowbar for that. Scavenge. Now, last time there was also someone in here. So I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to piss anyone off. It won't budge, okay. Apart from the other side. Yeah, we gotta go around that, remember. And we got there using that ladder. So from that ladder I can then go down there. Oh, actually, have a look at that rubble. Look at all that wood. All of that's coming with me. I can turn that into something useful. Oh right, we need the saw blade for that, now I remember. We need a saw blade. Right, I don't have a saw blade. What do we have here? Some more parts. Grab all of that. Now, last time there was a guy somewhere near. I am picking up some sort of ping from this area. something down there. It might be a person. It might be a rat. I think it's a rat. I hope it's a rat. Ooh! Survivors. What the hell? You guys wanna talk? Oh, they're just sitting here. Okay. Works for me. A lot more wood and a lot of components. I wanna grab as much as I can. Components first. Yeah, we're just gonna make this a complete wood run. 
And we're going to run to the exit. This should give me quite a bit of material I can turn into fuel. And maybe build another bed. Just to make sure I have another guy who can sleep it off. That'll help with uh, keeping them healthy. Help with keeping them uh, not too tired, I hope. And it might even help some with somewhat with sadness, I'm not too sure. Day 9. I have one guy on guard, two guys sleep, two guys asleep, I should say. Okay, night was calm. I got 20 wood, two parts and nine components. Um, I'm going to have to start doing something about own food production. Actually, you go upstairs and get that other water running. Improved workshop. Make that. Oh, whoa, where are you going? Go up there. You. Mathematician, get up there. And gladly eat something, yeah. That's fine, but there's not a lot of food left. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to revisit the supermarket just to make sure that I can get some food. Okay, that's done. I don't think I can cook anything else with this. Although it is now an improved stove, so that's good. Uh, let's see. I need water and I need fuel. Okay. This is my runner. I need my cook to get there. I slept poorly, that's bad news. Shit. Didn't mean to cancel that. Okay, we cannot get this thing running probably because we don't have enough fuel. Uh, just make two bits of fuel. And we're gonna wait for this water filter to be done and then cook a few meals if possible. You step aside so he can access the cooker. And we need... Right, we need two water each. So I'm gonna take all of the water from that part. Uh, you're gonna go to bed. Not end the day, you're gonna go to bed. He's got a headache. That could be bad. That could be bad news. Um... Someone's at the door again? He's got a proposition. Well, Anton, have a look. He might want to trade something, I'm not sure. I've never seen this event before. No reason to be afraid. Okay. What do you want? Hi there, neighbor. You aren't, around f you aren't from around here, are you? I've come to tell you that there's an abandoned house nearby. The owners fled the city long ago, when it was still possible. If you help me get inside, we might find something valuable in there. Give me a sec. Let's see which guy is best for that. Um, our fast runner should be in a better position to do that. Because this guy's hungry and sick. And that is not something I want to see. Okay, by now you should be able to cook. No, we're still waiting for the water, really? Yeah, we are. Okay. Right, so we can now make quite a few st uh, things here. We can build a trap, and I need more parts. And I need more components. And then I can start to have my own meat production, if you will. I can also get a herbal garden and herbal workshop, but I think this is the most important thing for now. I can board off some windows. Yeah, let's do that. Makes this place a bit more secure. Um, yeah, he was going upstairs. Our scavenger is sleeping. And our runner is going to have a talk. Yeah, you're going. 
He's going to board off this area. That should help a little bit with the protection of the house. Now, do we finally have water? Yeah, we do. Good. Now I can cook. Come on. Uh-oh, this is not good. Oh, look, he put a board entire in front of the entire thing here. This guy has the shivers. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is, but I don't think it's good news. Okay, make two meals. Now, have a meal yourself. And... Yeah, you're just gonna... Um, I don't know, sit in the chair. The good mathematician. I think I can afford to lose the mathematician. If shit hits the fan. I know it's not a very nice thing to do, but I do need my scavenger. He's the lifeline of this entire operation. If he dies, I'm in a lot of shit. So I gotta keep him happy, keep him well fed. And you are gonna go to bed. Sleep on the floor is terrible. Then you shouldn't sleep on the floor, should you? We got two beds. Uh, we don't have enough water, we don't have enough fuel. This thing's almost done. Let's end the day. Okay, Marco, we're going on a scavenging run again. I need food. Lots of food, huge amount of materials, but there are people living here. The thing is, I can start to steal from them. Or I can just go somewhere else. There's not a lot left in the supermarket, probably. Um, let's bring a crowbar, you never know. Okay. Hopefully there's some food here, because my food supplies are pretty much out. I don't have anything left. This entire floor is clear. Well, at least there's some bandages. That's good news. I want to have those in my supplies. In case someone actually gets hurt. Let's have a look here. Some more water and some electric parts. You never know when those are going to come in handy. Probably later on in the game when you have more electrical stuff going on. Rubble. Come on, give me food. Damn, that's not food. That's just wood and gunpowder. Still, I might be able to trade that later on, so take whatever I can carry. Some more roll up cigarettes. You never know. We got a smoker in the house, so he might be interested in that. Some more materials. Whoops. side, okay. Let's hit the roof. We haven't been to the roof yet. I'm not sure why they would store food on the roof, but, you know, game mechanics. Just a bit of materials. Is there something else here? At all? Doesn't look like it. But we might be able to drop down in here. Yep. That's it? There's nothing in here? Jeez. Okay. Um, okay, so we cleared out pretty much all of this stuff. I'm actually gonna go down. And I still don't have any food. So I think that for the next day... 
maybe a day or two, my guys are going to be very, very hungry. There's a hiding space. There's bed. Some more herbal meds, some med ingredients, sugar. I got plenty of sugar at home. Um, I think I already got some water. Fertilizer. I don't need the wood, but those herbal meds could come in useful because I can heal my guys up with that. Now let's make a last sweep on the other side. If there's food in there, I'm gonna drop something. And again, no food, unfortunately. We do get some cigarettes and some parts, but we're full. Now the crowbar should be able to break open this storage cabinet. See what's in here. Damn, again, no food? Really? Well, we can trade jewelry anyway. Um, herbal meds. No, we're full. Other meds. I can bring one, two more items of water. Some med ingredients. I got all sorts of base materials, but I don't really have anything that I can use to actually make ingredients or to use those ingredients to produce something. Let's pry this open. You can see it's a popular game by the way. There are a lot of people on my friends list actually playing this game. Please tell me there's food in here. Damn it. In here maybe? Just imagine. More gunpowder. Alright, well this is gonna be it then. We can cross this off as far as scavenging for food's concerned. We can make a run when I have nothing else to do, but otherwise... It's not really worth coming back to the supermarket. We're gonna have to get our food somewhere else. Day 10. Just imagine, we've only been here a week and a half. Let's see, how did we do last night? Uh oh. Taking things by force. They didn't seem very determined, they didn't do much harm. We were all armed, none of us were wounded. But the attackers walked off with many valuable things. What did we lose? Some moonshine? Some oh, fuck, they stole our food! Not really sure what those are. Uh, Pavel brought back some materials. We got some sugar and some... I think they're herbs or something like that. So, I'm completely out of food. That's not good. That is not good. They're all hungry, very hungry. Hmm. My runner is gonna go to bed. And Marco is also gonna go to bed. I don't think I have what I need to actually make that trap. Unfortunately. And I probably don't have enough... Or I might get that still going. I might. Yeah, I can build a chair. Brilliant. What do I need? I need more wood, I need more traps, and I need more parts. So I'm lacking on all fronts. Can I make something else from this? No, just a lockpick. Upgrade. Improved metal workshop. Uh, we can make an axe or a saw blade. We can also fix a simple broken firearm and helmets. Yeah, but that's a long way off. Okay. Um, do we still have any filters by any chance? I suppose we don't. We got, we got plenty of water. We don't need filters right now. Hmm. At least all of these guys are now healthy. That is something I'm very happy about. 
because I was getting a bit concerned about those uh, wounds and that sickness, but they're all healed up. So that's one thing less to worry about. Now we just have to make sure that they're being fed. And at this point I'm considering starting to steal from other persons. Other factions or other houses, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I can make two moonshine. If I want to build that trap, what do I need? Wood, which I just all burned to make all of that stuff in the still. Uh, I need components. So it's seven components, three parts and five wood. Right. Well, I guess there's not a lot I can do. I could just have these guys sit around. Oh, hello. You brought something for barter. Not a moment too soon. What can I give away, maybe? A lot of these ingredients. So again, what we need to make that trap is five wood, seven components, and three parts. Let's see what you have to offer. They can not offer food, they can offer vegetables, which are very, very valuable. Um, let's see. Not interesting, not interesting. Nothing special, but not bad either. Tobacco. I don't have any particular use for this tobacco right now. So, he is carrying five wood. Let's get that in first. As many components as we can. Yeah, that's when it starts to end up. Okay. So, one, whoop, one less, not two less. We can have a deal. Good, now, if I remember, all I need was three more parts, and I'm good to go. So, let's do that. Oh, you got to be kidding. This guy doesn't carry parts. Damn it. Fine. <clears throat> then we need to get something else from him. Vegetables. I do like to get vegetables, but I cannot make anything with them anyway. But they might be good to have in storage. Um, oh, I can also trade this jewelry away. What do I want for this? Good question. Give me all your materials. Water, I got plenty. Weapon parts, I got four of those. Um, vegetables, we can have a deal. Good. Let's see how far we can push it. No, one wood is enough. Is there anything else I don't really need right now? No, I don't think so. Okay, deal. And still we cannot make that trap. We can make the herbal workshop, um, but not the garden, which is the most important thing. We need more parts. That's the priority right now, parts. An armchair. No, I cannot make that. I just cannot make that. I need all of that stuff to make those traps later on. Um, if I can get five more pieces of wood... No, correct that. Uh, what was it again? They need ten, I got seven. Yeah, I need to get four more pieces of wood, and then I can make two small animal traps. That should finally get me some food income, if you will. But for now, there's not a lot I can do, so let's just, uh... Actually, I can wait for this still to get ready, and then I can barter everything that guy has. Um... <coughs> right. Do I have anyone who's very good at bartering, by the way? I should have checked that before. We're just gonna have to wait for this. Actually, maybe I can get the materials from that guy to keep the stove go or the, the still going. Hey, where are you headed? 
And to do that, I need water, which I don't have. I need moonshine, and I need sugar. Sugar I have, plenty. So, uh, water would be nice to get. I think I got all of the components, yeah. He only has three water, that's not a lot. Um, meds. Lockpicks I can make myself, I don't really need those. Might as well get some fuel, so I don't have to start making fuel from wood. You've got to be kidding. Okay, that was too much then. Come on! Jeez, those mats are crazy expensive. Okay. That's all of that. Water, we can have a deal. I'm gonna push you as far as I can. Okay, that was too far. Deal. Now we can get the still operational again. Uh, but I only have one to make, so that's fine. These guys are all hungry and tired and shit, and I cannot do anything about that. Unfortunately. Anyway, that concludes episode 4. Um, I'm not sure it was a good progression from episode 3, because the game might not have really saved it. I'm not really sure when the save moment is. But, um, still, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that next part I'm going to do a bit better, and I'm going to get a bit more food, because that is getting a problem. For now, um, oh damn it, there's a lot of fighting. I'm going to have to figure out that out in part 5. So if you want to see how this continues, follow me into part 5, subscribe to my channel, and I will keep them coming. If you have a question or comment on how I could do better or different, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like watching the video, please hit that like button. For now, thanks for watching, and see you in the next part.